What's going on everybody? So this is a new series here that I'm going to toy around with and it's called Get to Know Me. Um, if you go to my homepage, you'll see the playlist on there and it already has some old videos in there of stories about me being a musician, moving to Nashville, just any video that in the past where I felt like I was sitting down and just explaining uh, who I am and some parts of my history, well then you're getting to know me, right? And this is helping me compartmentalize on what kind of videos I want to do for this channel. Um, clearly by now you've seen the business stuff coming in. Um, I want to continue the vlogging type stuff, talking about mental health. But now let's have a series about getting to know me. And what I want to talk about today is the fact that I hate frogs. I hate frogs. Snakes, number one. Hate snakes. That is my number one. I know spiders is often a fear. I don't like spiders, but I've had to kill a lot of spiders for my mother and grandmother. So they don't freak me out as much. I don't like them. But snakes just, ugh. And number two, though, are frogs. And I'm not sure why. You know, I can look back in my childhood and remember the times that I hated trying to catch frogs. Me and my cousins would be out camping and, man, they loved catching those frogs. And they'd get right in the water and right in the muck and just snatch onto a frog and... I hated it. The, the minute I felt the frog in my hand, I had to throw it away. I don't honestly like holding on to fish. Uh, not because it's sticky and slimy, but it's the feeling that muscle in my hand it just doesn't feel right. I don't like it. So that's what a frog is. It's just like a ball of muscle. They're also unpredictable. When you see them on the ground, which way are they going to jump? You don't know. The harmless, you know, a standard frog's not gonna bite you here. There might be some crazy poisonous frogs in Australia I don't know about, but frogs and snakes usually aren't in the same category. So I, I have a funny story about the level at which I don't like frogs. Years ago, I lived in a basement apartment in Wyndham, Maine, and it was, a spring night and I had my front door open and the way it works is you'd walk in through walk through my front door and you go down probably five steps and then you're in the basement to the right's my living room you go to the left it's one of the bedrooms and it's just a little two-bedroom apartment two bed one bath basement apartment so I had the front door open I guess because I don't know it was kind of nice weather but it was humid but I had it open and I was in my bedroom playing the bass guitar, just having a good old time. I think it might've been a weekend night. I was probably drinking. Uh, those were the days back then. So then I go to leave my bedroom, walk past the staircase and then into my living room. And as I do that, I catch in the corner of my right eye, not one frog, but two frogs on my steps. Those little jokers leaped through the grass, through my front porch stoop, up the door jam, and then down these steps. And one was like at the bottom step and the other one was up a couple steps. And it flipped me out. I hated it. So what do I do? How do I get them out of here? I just explained like I don't like picking up frogs. So much like I do with a spider, I didn't kill the frogs, but with the spiders, I'll just grab a couple layers of paper towels and just pick it up, squish it, throw it out, right? So I did the same with the frogs, only I didn't squish them and I didn't kill them. But I couldn't, at the time, I, you know, I'm in my mid-20s, a grown man, right? And couldn't pick up the frog because of my issues with them. So I had to take paper towels and pick them up. Now, this is where... People might be disgusted with this. I didn't mean any harm to the frogs. But rather than pick it up, pick them up and walk them outside and put them in the grass, I took the frogs and threw them 
from my floor level of, up the door <laughs> into the grass. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that now. I still wouldn't pick them up though. I don't know, I just don't like the feel of frogs. So, there you have it. You know something about me now that you didn't know before. So who else out there hates frogs? Like I do. Um, again, snakes. That's that's number one by a long shot. Just the, ugh. But yeah, frogs, not cool either. What are you afraid of as far as animals or snakes, spiders, birds? I know birds is a big fear for a lot. My daughter is terrified of geese. And I understand why. They're kind of weird. Um, <laughs> years ago, uh, just a few years ago, we were at a park in Olive Branch, Mississippi. I was living there at the time. And I just got Skylar a little motorized scooter. Uh, so we went to the park to go around the pond. But there's a lot of geese around there. Man, she hates geese. So she wouldn't want to walk to certain sections or just really skittish around these geese. Well, now... She's on the scooter and I'm walking behind her and I can see what's about to happen, but I can tell she doesn't know yet. She's gonna come up around this corner and come up on a flock of geese. Uh, not in the pathway, but to the right. So I, I see it happening. Then I see her notice the geese and then just so happens before she can do anything, one of the geese starts walking towards her. It wasn't attacking her. It wasn't being aggressive, but it definitely turned around, looked at her, and started walking in her direction. She just dropped the scooter and ran. <laughs> and she, I mean, the scooter was moving forward, but she just jumped off it. See ya. The scooter went flying down the grass, and she just took off. She probably ran 100 feet before she stopped. And I'm here laughing. You know, and she doesn't care for ducks either. Not as bad though. Uh, just happens the day I'm recording this just yesterday, my mother and I and Skylar fed some ducks and some turtles. She was a little skittish around the ducks. I'm fine with the ducks, but geese, I have a little bit of a problem with geese too. They're tall. They're a little aggressive. They'll chase you. It's just, they're weird animals, but I'll deal with a geese over a frog any day. <laughs> <laughs>